What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Into the Badlands Trivia. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up? And as you can see, our next contestant is Joel Monique. Yes. Hello, Joel. How are you? Hi. I'm so like, I'm excellent. I'm so glad to be here, guys. Thanks for having me. Awesome. No, no problem. problem. Thanks for being here. Joel is an entertainment critic, and she's a Badlands fan just like we are. Yes. And yes. Um, she is now in the hot seat. We're going to test her knowledge of her of the Badlands the fan that she is. So, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, don't judge me. I'm notoriously terrible at trivia. Like, just awful at it. <laughs> That's okay. Every you know, everyone that comes on here says they are, and then and then they end up doing you know fairly well or or great or whatever. Okay. So, so we'll see. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if you don't know how this works, anyone watching this and and for Joel, uh, Joel will have six questions. And uh, they're going to be from seasons one, two, or three. And yes. we're going to see if she can make it on the board and if she can place and see if she can get past Sherman or Daniel or Paco or Alexis or or, or Angela, no, anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? Alexis resides. She's going to be my competition. Okay. So Alexis got f yeah. uh, four out of six, I believe, on that Ugh. one. She's so good. Yeah. So uh, we will see if you can if you can if you can get get up there. We'll we'll see. Yeah, right. she kind of did. She kind of did call you out. So let's. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Joelle is here because Alexis Alexis called her out. So there we go. So all right. So let let's just jump right into it. And um, yes. Joelle, uh, if you don't know, we do have music that will play on the on the edited video. So you know it'll make it nice and and good for you. So uh, all right. So here we go, Mikey. You have question number yes. one. Let's do it. All right, Joelle, question number one. In season two, what was Moon's job outside of the Badlands? Oh, my gosh. Uh, what was he doing out okay. there? It was he was... Was he working at... No. Mm. Now, you do get hints. Yes, if you need a hint, let us know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Give me a hint, because I I feel like he was working with. The space, but I feel like that's not a job. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, for, well, well. <laughs> uh, no problem, no problem. The hint is Boba Fett. He's a bounty hunter. Yes, yes, he's a bounty Very hunter. Good. We got it. Yep. <laughs> You're a Star Wars fan, right? You're a big Star Wars. Oh, totally, fan? absolutely. Yeah. All right, so that... That's why we we figured you'd get that with the hint. So <laughs> he was, yes, he was indeed a bounty hunter. Right. Okay. Good. There you go. See, you got first one. One down. One down. All right. Now let's see if you can get this next one. Question number two. After Ryder dies. In season mm. two, what ritual does Jade endure to become Baroness? Oh, dang. Okay. I That's remember her discovering the body, and it's like brutal, bloody, if I remember correct. Like everything in this show is. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, crap. This is so key. Why can I not remember what she had to go through? Now remember, that these questions are from the face uh, the Facebook group that we're in uh, for Into the Badlands fans, and a lot of these questions come from them. So these are pretty deep cuts. Yeah. Guys are first of all, what an excellent fan base. Yes. Oh, I oh my god. Believe it was some kind of fight, and she almost died. But you maybe give me a hint. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the hint is that the giving of blood was required. She kill somebody else to because she didn't murder his his lady. That girl ran away. I don't know this one, guys. Okay, it was you. You were you were very close. Um, she has to grip the blade of Ryder's sword and pull it through her hands. Yeah. Yeah, you were close. You were very close. You were you were, you were dancing around it. Yeah, there was that ritual where she had. They said the blood. What they say, Mike? The blood for blood or something like that, right? Yeah, it was one of those. Yes, yes, blood for blood, and now you're the Baroness. Yeah, much. exactly. So okay, but that's okay. See, you were close though, but that was good. Not bad. See? <laughs> Not bad. Not all bad. right, one for two. No big deal. You still got four more. All right. Okay, all right. Question number three. In season two, what object did Sonny and Baji offer Nas 
the smuggler to get back into the Badlands through the tunnels. Oh, I remember this episode. Yeah. Oh, golly. Yeah, Nas is a very interesting character um, on his own, on his yeah. own right. So. Yeah. Dang! You want that hint? I'll take a hint. I will. I will. I will. All right. What well, the hint is? It's a it's a sacred weapon within the Badlands. It's a weapon that's been around for uh, quite a while. Is it the Baron Sword? No. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm keeping We're trying to keep a straight face. We're trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> is that your answer? Is is a sword your answer? <laughs> yes. I don't know, Chris. What are we calling this one? Ah, uh, well, the answer is that it's Moon Sword. It was Moon Sword. Uh -huh. I don't, I don't remember him separating with that sword. Because at the, remember, Sonny Sunny Sunny had Sonny and Baji defeat him, and remember, they take his sword. That's when his hand got cut yeah. off. And yeah, I think I think we're going to have to give you an X on that one. You were close. That's fair. That's fair. You were close. I did not earn that one. Yeah, but, but, um, but <laughs> yeah. But, you still got, you still got a few more. <laughs> still got a few more. A few more. Yep, that's okay. Yeah, these, like I said, these are deep cuts. These are some, these are some good questions. You know, and it's, excellent questions. Right? And it's interesting that some people like know them off the top of their head, but other people, you know, it takes it takes the hint. Like it's very interesting. Yeah. Like we try to it make is. it fair and we try to make ones that we think but again, we know what we know and everyone knows what they know. So yeah. anyway. All right, so yeah. let's see how well you do on this one. <laughs> this is question number four. Okay. In the temple of Azra, okay, Nyx is found holding and observing what toy animal amongst the souvenirs in the gift shop okay so they're in the temple they're observing animals and uh... in the gift shop because you remember that it was basically it was a museum like, right what was oh that? no the museum the temple later um i would say it... she was holding something she was holding a toy what was that toy I remember a stuffed bear. I think. Think I think she's gonna need the hint on this one. I think so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lay, lay another hint on me. It reaches enormous sizes. Is it? Is it a stretch arm shot? <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, that's something I haven't heard in a long right? time. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting, right? In the museum, yeah. That, you know, in the band um, No, no, I'm sorry. It was not a Stretch Armstrong. It was. It was a toy dinosaur. A toy dinosaur. Yeah. I don't that at all. Yeah. Oh my god. It was. It was. Remember. Remember the Viewmaster scene when they're looking through the Viewmaster, and it was that <laughs> that during that time. Yeah. yeah and Nyx was looking all around, and she's holding this. Uh, you know. This little this, dinosaur. This yeah. yeah. This dinosaur toy. Yeah. That's all okay. This is really funny is to go back and rewatch all of that. It's crazy. Like a it's crazy. Yes. I know these, these, these are the things that trivia is and, made up of, though, right? And these are tough. And these are tough if you haven't seen it in in, in a, a while. while. Yeah, you know what I mean. And like Chris said a couple times already, is that the fans they just they're just so knowledgeable about these about these episodes and and seasons, and they're, they're just such big fans. So it, these are tough. As long as you're having fun, we're okay. I always we're appreciate about the fans like if you're gonna be dedicated to a show be effing dedicated to a show Super, right. um Super and forward to our uh our de more debate style where we get to talk more about the things people are doing <laughs> yeah that's where i try that's why you're really well loose <laughs> yeah, no, yeah no problem no problem uh, All okay right, so, so it's uh question five uh yeah, we're right? on questions five but right before you read that mike uh in case anyone watching this video uh obviously uh, there's a bit of connection issues um, uh, between us, so if so, that's why you know if we don't hear each other, guys, that's what's happening. So just you know, bear with us. Um, all right. So question number five. All Mikey. right. Question number five in season three, 
How does Baji alleviate Ren's pain after being shot with the poison arrows? Doesn't he just suck it out? <laughs> no, that's Caddyshack. <laughs> 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 I remember some lady in pants. I remember some like. Oh wait, doesn't he acupuncture him? Like, this, like the needle things, or am I like way off base? Uh, you know what? We're gonna give it to you. Yeah, I think we'll give it to you. I mean, there were there were no needles. There were no needles involved, but uh, he does some pressure points. Yeah, Baji used his chi or some of his power to. Kind of give her a little bit of uh, morphine, if you will, you know, when he's tapping her uh, her pressure points. Yep. Good job. All right. Not bad. Not yeah. bad. Not bad. Not so bad. Pretty two, good. Uh, two out of Safe. five. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's so go, let's go for this next one, Joel. Let's get three out of out of the six here. Let's go. All right. Let's okay. do it. If you get three out of six, then you tie with Sherman. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. This is the last question, and then it'll all be over. All right. Okay. Now, number six. Three real languages were combined by a linguist for the show to create the Azrian language. The first two are Native American and Mayan. What's the third? Okay. All right. First, give me a hint, because obviously I have no clue what this one is. It's such a great question, though. This is a this is a great question. It's yeah. tough. This this is a tough one. The hint is it's the language of ancient Rome. Uh, it's so funny because I was gonna say Greek. <laughs> uh, but what's Greek based uh, off of? Latin. Yes. 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 yes it's Latin. Very you got it. Very, very good. Boom, you got it. Yep. Not bad. Amazing. So you nailed, you nailed the last two at least, right? So yep. Great Thanks job. Thanks to you guys' help. Thank you so much. Yep. Yep. Nope. Hey, listen. Job. A lot of they need, they, you know, that's what hints are for, and, and, yep. and you got it. So yep. that's awesome. You got three out of six. I almost forgot the number. Yes. <laughs> three out of six. That's good fine. job, Joel. Very, very well done. Very well done. Yep. Yep. Um, you guys are so well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we uh, so so yeah. So that's that. So um, let's see. Are you on the board? Well, the board's gonna be up on the screen right now. We're gonna see where you are on there. Um, I think I'm only able to fit like f five or six people. In the five board. or six. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but it'll be on the it'll be on the screen right now. I don't have it on there as I'm looking at it. But edited video <laughs> will have it. At, we'll have all this the bells and whistles and all the little animations. But uh, but yeah. But you know what though? You got three out of six. That's awesome. You tied with Sherman. So that's cool. Yes. I'm proud. I hung in there. You know, I feel like I really fought through this. I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm, I'm going to do a bunch of deep dives next time and come back. And, and come and, back. And okay. Absolutely. You're going to, it's going to be your round two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. No problem. No problem. So, uh, you know, once again, we would love to thank the Facebook group and yes. all the fans who gave us these questions um, and watch our shows and everything like that. Uh, if you if you want to be in that Facebook group and you're not, go the link's in the bottom of the description there. The Get in there. Go do it. Joelle, where can they reach you um, and where can they go say hi to you? Yes. If you want to come tell me how bad I am at trivia, uh, <laughs> come follow me on Twitter at Joelle Monique or over on Instagram, Joelle underscore Monique. And then uh, if you want to check my writings, uh, I'm over at Pace Magazine and Pajiba. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. That's awesome. all up on the screen, so you guys can yep. have no excuse. That's right. That's right. If <laughs> we want to know, we want to know as always how you, the viewer, did on this uh, particular trivia. So write in the comments section below here and let us know how you did. Uh, check us out at Third Person Pod on all the social medias on Instagram and on Twitter, and you can have a listen to this on iTunes as well. You can also check us out at ThirdPersonPod.com. That's a very easy way to get to us too. So. Yep. Absolutely. So that's going to do it, everybody. This has been another episode of Indie yes. Badlands Trivia. Joelle, thank you so much for being such a good sport. I hope you had fun. You did great. You did yeah. three out of six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely a representative showing here for someone that uh, seemed to be a little nervous in the beginning, right? Yep, absolutely. Bye. Bye. Great thank job. You guys great job. Blast. All right. That's great. <laughs> guys, we'll see all you. Uh, well, I can't, I can't speak. That's it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> we'll see you on the next trivia. Bye. <laughs> 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 Thanks.
Thanks for watching. If you want to see more episodes of Into the Badlands trivia, click the link right over there. If you want more Into the Badlands content, please check out our playlist up there in the top left. And if you're into more trivia shows, especially 80s, check out that video down there. Or you can check out our Classic Blend show, also 80s.